Today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the Gaming Heads God of War Ascension Lunging Kratos Exclusive Edition Statue. Coming to us from the folks over at Gaming Heads, this fantastic statue, as you probably can hear, or maybe maybe from how you can see the video itself, Spot's actually got to review this in a different room, something that's going to be a little bit bigger, because this statue is going to be huge. Before we have a look at the statue, let's have a look at the front of the box. Uh, as you can see, there's an image of what the statue is going to look like. You see Kratos there. Uh, lunging on what appears to be the top of a stone pedestal with a couple of arrows in there to boot. As for the back of the box, it's recommended for ages 14 and up. With a read-up, Gaming Heads is proud to reveal Kratos, the protagonist of the God of War series. Kratos has been portrayed in a one-quarter scale wielding the Swords of Exile and has been captured lunging forward on a powerful attack. Standing at 19 inches tall when leaping forward on his base, this depiction of Kratos is a truly massive recreation. Six months have passed since Kratos stood over the bodies of his wife and child, his hands stained with their blood, trickled by Ares into murdering, or tricked by Ares, I should say, into murdering the only people he ever loved. Swearing to avenge them, Kratos broke the blood oath that bound him to Ares, but oaths to Olympus are not so easily broken. This is an exclusive version of Kratos. Kratos' Swords of Exile incorporate a light-up feature, which causes the swords to slowly fade from red to yellow. The lights slowly fade away after being switched off. Comes in a deluxe full-color packaging, a hand-numbered base, and a certificate, and I should say, and an authentic card to allow you to pre-order the same number of statue for future God of War statues. Uh, highly limited to only 500 pieces worldwide. With the look at packaging done, Spot's going to take a break and get this completely out of box. But when we come back, we're getting a better look at the Gaming Heads Lunging Kratos Exclusive Edition statue. Here's more anyway, guys. Don't go anywhere. The first thing we'll have a look at for the statue is the display stand that the statue is eventually going to stand on top of. The statue is primarily a gray color, recreating that of stonework. And as you can see down below, there is a dark black circular base that the stone is sitting on top of. The underside of the statue, you've got Lunging Kratos Exclusive Edition. This Lunging Kratos Exclusive statue is limited to just 500 pieces worldwide. Now this is actually is a sample piece, but the number of sequence of out of 500 would be present right along that bottom section there. Also included, hopefully you guys can see it there, is a Lunging Kratos uh, Exclusive Edition card to which then you can redeem and on the back, in every official Gaming Heads product, there's a validation card that lets you validate your collectible is genuine. Each validation card comes with a unique code that is linked to a specific product number, the number that is written on the bottom of the base. The unique code can be found on the front of this card. A nice little touch that they include that. I do appreciate the Gaming Heads would include that with their statue releases. Added on top of that, I've gone ahead and add the Kratos. Don't worry, so I'll do different uh, side angles and stuff of the, the statue. But what I've done is I've just pegged the Kratos uh, figure on top of the stand just by one singular peg that attaches the foot to the stone base. From there, it's just a matter of adding his swords. But just before I actually peg the swords onto the sides of his arms, I wanted to show you what the swords individually look like. Detail on them is quite good. Very impressive indeed. I love how there's a translucency to the, the interior of the sword. It's almost giving a stained glass effect. And you can see almost me running my hand behind it. You can see that it's got almost the slight coloring of a yellow with a shading of orange in the corners. Couple that with a darker brown of the hilt. It's almost a brownish gray. And of course, you've got the classic chains wrapped around Kratos' arms. Battery closure can be a little difficult to access. Uh, it's just located on the underside, or I guess the interior of Kratos' forearm. It's also magnetized, which makes things a little bit difficult to get your finger in there and pull it out. 
Uh, one thing that it will need though is there's a little plastic obstruction um, little guard there that you have to pull out to uh, let the battery power juice the blades. And once that's in place, you can go ahead and press the button on the inside and hopefully you can see how it lights up. It's not a bright light by any stretch of the imagination, but you can see how it hopefully it pulses from being a yellow in color all the way to a darker red. So I've gone ahead and I've added the arms. The only thing now that's missing is a series of five arrows to which you can peg in and hopefully you can see it. Let's maybe even bring the camera down and bring the camera in. You can see, hopefully, well, I'll bring the camera back a little bit. There's holes right, right around the area of the base, pr pr primarily around the lower area of the base. You're gonna go ahead and take the arrows and you're just gonna peg them into those little holes below. Once you finish with the arrows, the completed look gives you something that looks like this. A very impressive looking statue to say the least. Let's get some close-up looks at Kratos. There would be a front shot of what the statue will look like with Kratos lunging forward. Speaking of lunging though, I do have to commend Gaming Heads for sculpting the piece in, in such a way that Kratos is lunging forward as much as he is, but he doesn't feel off keltered or off balanced from the, the weight of, I'm guessing more so the base itself. The base itself keeps a lot of the focal weight down low. So it prevents Kratos, even though he is really lunging forward, it prevents the statue from toppling forward. Now to get a close-up look at his face, Spot actually had to take his camera off the tripod simply just because I couldn't get the angle right of him. Uh, if I can tip the camera at normal, you can see how far down he tips his head. So for that reason, we're going to have to hold this by hand. The facial expression on Kratos is excellent. Although I have to say, it doesn't really convey the rage that one would almost expect to find with Kratos. Instead, a much more calmer, perhaps even more confident expression instead. The paintwork that they've given Kratos is stunning. Not to say that Kratos does have a lot of paint on him to start off with, as his primary colors generally are that of a white, brown, and red. Red is very vacant in this particular release of Kratos. However, the brown certainly accents areas such as areas around his eyes and areas around his chest and arms. Try to do a close, here's a side profile or somewhat side profile of Kratos. The material also, let me add, on his skirt appears to almost be fabric, but it is not actually fabric at all but instead the same material as the rest of the statue. There's his swords in his hand. There's the base down below, complete with arrows. Actually, in fact, for the rest of this review, Spot just figured he'd do this by hand. It's so much easier to capture a lot of the details that sometimes a static uh, tripod doesn't always successfully get. Being a huge fan of God of War, I definitely wanted to add this particular statue to my collection. And I have to say that Gaming Heads definitely has astonished me, astounded me in the sheer level of detail and especially the very cool pose that they've put Kratos in. Uh, with the light up feature being primarily the reasoning why this is an exclusive variant, it also makes the quantities on this guy extremely limited. With only 500 available of the light-up feature, to be honest, I don't even think the light-up feature is its biggest selling point. The biggest selling point of Kratos here is just the sculpt alone. So for that reason, I don't know if I would necessarily say picking up the exclusive is necessary, as you could accomplish the same, the same successful look by just getting the regular release. Today's collectible spot, Spa was having a look at the Gaming Heads God of War Ascension. This was the Lunging Kratos statue, to which Spot's actually holding his camera for. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more collectible spots heading your way. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.